Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for all these things that you are blessing us with, the opportunity, Lord, the new opportunities that are coming to us. I know Tanisha has a prayer praise report because of the monies that were finally given to her, but she had been waiting patiently on you, Lord, to respond and restore to her, and the person's heart was finally moved to restore all of it to her. So I thank you, Heavenly Father, already for what you've done for Tanisha in 2017. Dear Heavenly Father, though we have those on this line, Tori is on this line, and she comes with prayer requests, Father. Dear Lord, you know her heart. I don't know her heart. I don't need to know her heart because the Holy Spirit that dwells within each of us knows her heart. But she opens her mouth and she let us know about her son, Renique. First of all, Lord, thank you, first of all, that you, she is recovering from the car accident that they had. But we pray for Renique in his mind and in his body that he will begin to recover at a speedy rate, Lord, that he won't even be able to understand what God is doing in his body and in his life, Lord. Let him see a manifestation of your power that he will cover everything that has been trying to be taken away from him, Lord. Let him come out of this car accident knowing that your power is real, knowing that there is a God that he can serve. So we pray right now for healing, Lord. We pray for restoration, Heavenly Father, of everything that was trying to be taken away in this car accident. We rebuke the devourer who's trying to make him not feel that he is able to recover, Lord. We thank you now in advance for what you're going to do because I receive it already for what your power and your might and your spirit is going to do. We also pray for Jalisha, Lord. Lord, we, it's time for Jalisha to come back home, Lord. She has left us behind a child. When I'm not sure what is going on in her mind, but I ask that you go where she is and stir her spirit up to return to her child, to return to her home. Heavenly Father, you know what's going on, but I know even in my own life there were times that I felt overwhelmed. There were times that I felt that I could not do what I needed to do, but Lord, you know that you can give us strength, so we call for Jalisha to receive strength, Heavenly Father, to receive clarity, Heavenly Father, to receive wisdom, Heavenly Father, on how to conduct herself, Lord, and bring her home to her child, Lord. I am praying for that situation, Lord. I just felt that in my heart that there is clarity, she lacks clarity, she's confused and she's overwhelmed. And dear Heavenly Father, we ask that she return to her child, return to her home. In Jesus' name we pray these things. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for, like I said, for the bottom of a week. We thank you, Lord, that you bring us to the first weekend in 2017. We are calling for snow, Lord. So I pray that everyone on this line, everyone connected to them is protected in this snow, Heavenly Father. Let no hurt, harm, or danger Come on, I them, Lord. Cover them and put a hedge of protection around them. Lord, as the song says, build a fence, Lord, and protect them. We ask that no one come into any danger and any car accidents and any slip and slides and fender benders, Lord, and all of this. We ask, Lord, that they be able to go on their roads. Well, I know Jennifer's about to have a party, and she's praying that she'll be able to celebrate her birthday with her friends and family, people she may not have seen for a while. But, Lord, you know if it's not there, to be somewhere else that we will live up her and lift up your name that she's been able to see another year, Lord. So thank you, Jesus, for everything that you're able to do. I thank you, Lord, for being helping us to become sober-minded, to become soldiers in this army, Lord. Yes, for us Lord. To walk, yes, Lord. Walk, Lord, so that people will see us as lights, Lord. We are not supposed to be hidden under a bush, Heavenly Father. We're supposed to be walking as lights in a dark and lost world. This world needs us, Heavenly Father, whether they think they do or they not. They don't, Lord. And we know that we're able, we have the answer in the gospel, Heavenly Father. Let us not focus on an individual sin that one may commit over another person, but let us focus on the gospel, the message, the good news that Jesus Jesus Christ is our Savior. Jesus Christ is the answer. Jesus Christ is the way. Help us to live in our lives and our bodies in such a way that people will be curious. People will want to come to us and say, what is it that is about you? You have a joy. You have a hope. And let us be able to tell them our hope is in Jesus Christ. Dear Heavenly Father, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap up in my prayer this morning. 
Touch each individual one, Lord. You know the unspoken prayer requests, the unspoken needs and desires in each and every heart on this line. I don't know it. I don't need to know it. The Holy Spirit is able to go open doors, Lord, that need to be opened in 2017. Make the way smooth and plain for those who have projects, who have initiatives, who have jobs and businesses that they want to see flourish. I ask that you bless each and everything as you bless Single Sage and Series in 2016 and have plans to bring us to another level in 2017. I ask the same blessing to fall on those on this call, that in whatever they put their foot, wherever they put their mind, wherever they put their hand to do, that you will bless it abundantly more than we can ever think or ask. I ask that blessing, Lord, and cover them, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. Anybody else got any uh, prayer or come in and pray? Come on, let's go. Let's do it. Don't worry about listening or nothing. Just talk to God. Have a moment with God and let's pray as a unit. Anybody want to pray? What's your loved one? You are more than blessed. You are anointed. You are highly favored. Please know that God walks with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. I know there are ones who have silent prayers, unspoken prayers, and it's okay. We just bring this line so that people, if they want to raise their voice in prayer, if they feel a word that God has left on their spirit, that they have some place to be able to do that freely without any judgment, without having to wait till they go to a church, without having to wait till somebody asks them. Well, we're here at all times, every Friday, and even individually if you know us online. We are here always to breathe a word of prayer with you, to encourage you, and to lift you up. And I open it again. If anyone has anything that they feel led by the Spirit to say, please go ahead and say it. Well, this is Tori, and I just want to say I appreciate this prayer this morning. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jesus. I was feeling so overwhelmed trying to, oh. I was struggling with myself and I was struggling with God because I've been raising this baby on my own oh. for 16 months since she's been in this world, Lord, and I'm, oh, no. I was getting tired because I'm like, Lord, sh- should I have allowed her to go to foster care or not? Because I, I don't have any help with this baby. Oh. And I pray because after the, after the car wreck and my car was totaled, Jeez. the guy that hit me had stolen the car. And, and I just seemed to have everything. And then I lost everything just in a matter of a day. My wow. job, my mm. ability to walk. And I just felt like I wasn't any good to my kids anymore. And I'm yeah. and I kept praying and asking God to restore and renew. And I believe, I truly believe that He hears me, because I I don't want to feel that way. I don't want to be overwhelmed. I don't want to feel like foster care is the best thing for my granddaughter. Well, we all know that God ain't going to put nothing on us that we can't handle. And evidently, he felt that you were responsible enough in order to be there for your granddaughter, in order to be there for your grandchildren, in order to be there for your kids. And so what he's doing is he is restoring you. Now, you might not see all the things that he's doing within you right now, but what he's doing is he's preparing you through the restoration, if that makes any sense. Right. So what you don't what you don't see now, you will see later. So your faith is enough. The Bible talks about faith so many times, and he talks about how he gives favor through faith. And so what you're doing now is you're holding on through your faith. You're holding on and trying to keep your family together through your faith. 
Everybody ain't that strong to do the things that you do. So don't give up and, and, and you know, go through foster care and all of that because that's yet for you. What's going on right now is yet for you to do. That's an assignment that you have within your life. That's an assignment. That's a growing process. So and just Troy. continue to pray. And, and we always encourage people to pray and fast. Don't just pray. Pray fast and study. Take away something that, you know, you're used to doing every day or, or some type of addiction or anything. Just fast and see what God does you know, through that says because what what that is is that's you drawing on the God a lot more. You're taking away something that you love in order to get God's um, undivided attention. So just make sure that today you find something that you could fast with in order to pay more attention to God to where he could give you signs to let you know what you what you're going through within your life. He's telling you and communicating what you're going through. And he will let you know what you need to do in order to uh, you know, find the answers. Sorry, if it's possible, you know, one of my favorite chapters in the Bible, um, I I can relate to your situation of losing everything. One of my favorite chapters is Roman Romans eight. And toward the end, you know, it, verse 35, it says, Who shall ever separate us from the love of Christ? You are loved by God, and he sees your situation. It says, Will tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors and gain an overwhelming victory. God is going to bring you the victory in this situation. This is going to be a testimony that you are not even going to be able to understand and believe. I know it is difficult when you stand at the brink of something that you just don't understand. And I heard the word overwhelmed in my spirit when I was praying. And I thought it was more toward your daughter, but I see that it is toward you. But I tell you, both of you being overwhelmed, God says you are more than conquerors. You are more than successful. Don't let anybody change your mind about the success that God has for you. And if I could tell you my testimony, and maybe we may have to get on another time and talk about testimony, God had me where you were, no job, hurt, broken, no help. And I tell you where I'm telling you now that God has blessed me exponentially, more than I could ever think or ask, to the point where I don't even understand how he brought me out, okay? So you're just at that beginning, but I'm here to encourage you. Stay steadfast. Like you said, pray, study, and fast, and get in your word. And I'm going to be praying also that God bring the people, the network of people that need to be around you to support you. I know it's hard sometimes when you don't see a friendly face, when you think you're facing everything by yourself. But I'm going to be praying that God bring the appropriate people into your life to form a network around you, a community around you, so that you feel supported and that you don't feel so alone. I heard your cry this morning. I heard your tears this morning, and it has just touched my heart. So please be encouraged, and I want to actually stay in touch with you. It is important that as brothers and sisters in Christ, we don't just hear a cry and go on about our business, but that we be busy about the Lord's work right here on this earth. So I'm going to get the information from Chuck, and we are definitely going to stay in touch. Okay. You are more than welcome. You are more than welcome. You are more than a conqueror, my sister. Do not feel that God has forgotten about you. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <sighs> Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So what we're going to do now, this is what I always leave with. So what we're going to do, we're going to have you to close in prayer and watch how God works. I know it's hard, Tori, but even if you mumble two words to the Lord, he hears you and sees your faith. That's right. And, Tori, this is Jennifer, and as you were speaking, I I couldn't say anything because I was on my way to work, and I just got here in the office. But when you were sharing about what happened to you, the first 
Bible person that came to my mind was Job. Job lost everything, but God restored him and gave him more than he could ever think or imagine. It doesn't feel good when we're going through. We don't understand. But when we hold on to God's unchanging hand and trust and believe that God is going to see us through the process, he's going to restore unto you double for your trouble. So I I, I heard that in my spirit when I heard your testimony. Amen, amen. Oh, let me pull it together. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's, y'all. I'm so okay, sorry. we're all we're all here. We all support you. You say what God leads you on your mind to say. Good morning. Can sorry. I say something to her real quick? This is Minister yes, King. Yes, certainly, certainly. I did hear another call, call in. Who's this? Yes, this is Minister King. Um, I just wanted to encourage you and let you know that sometimes you have to clean out the attic and clean out the cobwebs and clean out the dust before, so that God can give you some new stuff to put in. Mm. I received it. Mm. So oh, goodness. it's okay for him to gut everything because he want to give you a fresh, new everything so he can surprise you and amaze you with what he's bringing in. The stuff that he's bringing into your house now, you will be amazed what he brings to you. But you stay, they say expectation is to bring ground for miracles. So expect. Yes. Let the clean out come and just begin to smile. You don't even understand yeah. why, but just begin to smile yeah. and say, you know what, I'm expecting, and then expect some stuff. Don't let doubt creep in at all. I'm expecting because expectation is the breeding ground for miracles. I'm waiting for all of my miracles. And because amen, amen. Oh, yeah. started our close. Oh, so yeah. go on and start smiling. Go on and start helping wipe down the, the, the empty places. <laughs> Because okay. all the new stuff is on its way. Amen. Thank you for that. And I receive it. Lord, I, I come before you as humble as I know how. Lord, I ask first and foremost, you restore my mind and erase mm. all these feelings of disparity and and confusion and and feeling of overwhelmment, Lord, because I know this. Amen. To you, all things are possible, even the impossible. Lord, I ask that you restore and renew Jalaisha's heart, Lord, because I miss yes. her more and more every day, Lord. Yes, Lord. And I don't want her child to go through not knowing who her mama is, Lord Jesus. Mm. Lord, I ask that you cover my son, Lord. Yes, I, Lord. I want you to wake him. And awake him a new running, Lord Jesus. Restore yes, everything that has been lost to our family, Lord. And Jesus like name. Oh, you know how to do, Lord Jesus. Yes, and he I does. I ask, Lord, that anybody that is going through, Lord, mm. you touch, touch their family, touch pain, yes. Lord, touch wherever yes. they need you to come into their home, Lord Jesus. And I'm not worried because I know that you would not bring me this far to leave me. Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus, I ask that if nothing else, just waking up, let me and my family and everyone on this line know that waking up is just a gift because that's another opportunity to get it right. Mm. Lord, I ask all these things, Lord. Let me walk in the path that you have. Divinely, I'm sorry, my dog on Grand <laughs> She jumped in the bed. Lord, let me walk in the steps that you have ordered, Lord. Don't let me, don't let me stray, Lord Jesus. Don't yes, Lord. Cover her, Jesus. I don't want to stray, Lord, because I know that only you are the answer, Lord Jesus. Amen and amen. Focus mm. on you. Just you, Lord, and I know that if I uplift your name, Lord, you will grant everything that me and my family need and some of our desires, too. <laughs> I ask all these things in Jesus' name, and I pray for everybody that was in that five-car pileup. I don't know everybody that was hit that day, Lord, I know. But I ask that you restore and renew and give them healing, Lord, because I, I wasn't I wasn't able to stay there at the scene, but, Lord, I know that after this last operation, my son going to come out good as new, Lord. Amen. Jesus. And I ask all these things in Jesus' name. 
Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. Yes. 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 Sorry, I thank you for that heartfelt prayer. I thank you for those words. You see how the Lord works. You started praying for yourself, and you ended up praying for other people. This is our spirit. This is how God is doing in the world. I just ask whatever God is doing in this season, he includes Uh everyone. Mm. We thank you. We thank you. Is there anybody else who would like to say anything before we close? Or do we just want to close with that prayer? That was a powerful prayer. I don't want to say another word. We're close. 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 We're she may not be. She was at the office, so she may not be. But we'll go ahead and pray. Um, please, everyone, continue to connect with us on Facebook. We have these prayers every Friday at 8 a.m. Um, Jennifer does have a prayer on Monday at 5.30. So we start and end the week with prayer. Um, we also support other ministries. So please, um, if you're not connected to Brandon, please connect to me, Judith wilson Burks on Facebook, and let's all stay in touch and stay encouraged. All right. Also, they got uh, stolen lunches on their Bible study Facebook. I share it a lot on Tuesdays. They got Bible study Facebook Live, and then they have a prayer line going on Wednesday morning, and Roseanne, uh, has, Roseanne Fagan has a prayer line uh, on Saturdays. So we all can um, come together and, you know, start moving within God. You know, it, it ain't just about us. It's about all of us. We all are one body, many members. So, you know, we need to come together. We all come together and walk and, you know, bring restoration to the world because whereas we see the world is getting worse and people are drawing away from God, especially our men, are drawn away from God more than ever, and we see those things on social media. So, um, which is a gift, you know, because all that is is a sign that we need to go out and do more ministry, do more work within God, within the mm-hmm. world, step out of the church for a minute. So, um, you know, I hope everybody has an excellent day as well as an excellent weekend. Excellent weekend, yes. Um, we just don't already closed it so you know with her prayer so uh, you know just remember that we love you but God loves you I more. Love you more. So y'all have an excellent weekend and uh, you know, hopefully have a good we'll weekend. see y'all next Friday. Amen. Uh, have a good weekend everyone. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.